Hi Leo, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's see what messages come through for you Leo Sun, Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what's happening with you. Alright, Leo. What's coming up for you and what do you need to hear? Serendipity Leo, this is such a beautiful energy. Peace, tranquility. Can you see this clove leaf here? Luck. Luck is on your side. Building blocks. For some of you, I see um, you might be dealing with somebody who wants to work hand in hand with you. There is an energy of group effort. At least the effort or uh, the energy of collaboration here. For some of you, I'm going to. I I'm feeling that you're going to feel lucky. You're going to feel um, easy and light, especially when you see that your efforts are giving you results. Especially when you see that whatever you've been building block by block in the past few weeks or even months, I see it giving you result now. So this is a very positive time coming in for Leo and I'm picking up such a positive energy for you. Building blocks. Working step by step. Wow. Okay, so let me see. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. What's coming up for you and what do you need to remember what is coming this week, right? <laughs> okay, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. For some of you, you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you, you have dealt with this person. Uh, for the rest of you, I also feel this is some boss or some important figure who is little money-minded. And uh, this person has a lot of money though, yes, but is little money-minded. I see uh, in the recent past, this person has been a little deceptive and has been playing games with you. And for a lot of you, I see that you've been keeping some secrets and you, you can sense uh, something unhealthy here. So you're quite, uh, I, I won't say guarded as such, but you can, and I, I don't even pick up manipulative as of now. But yeah, I see you keeping your facts very close to yourself, right? And that's more of a kind of energy where I'll watch first and then react very careful energy here oh yeah for some of you i feel here you are uh, leo 80s leo sad energy i see you are passionate about something you're like a go-getter you have the eyes on the price you exactly know what you want and for a lot of you if you if this is something monetary i see you might be doing it so well that uh, it might include some mind games though but yeah if this is work life it's giving you good results. For the rest of you, if this is some love situation, I see you keeping your facts very close to yourself. Because you have the eyes on the prize. That's quite, it's quite positive energy here. Moving forward, Leo, let's see what can you expect this week in this situation. We're going to clarify a few cards. Three of Pentacles, Strength and the Queen of Swords. Whoa. Again, Three of Pentacles, Building Block, Energy, Building Blocks. I see the group effort. I see that uh, when you are working over something, people are going to support you. They're going to look at your worth, appreciate you. Very much kind of an energy where, um, yeah, you're doing something beautifully here. You're doing something beautifully. The, the people who are looking at you, and for a lot of you, I see you're avoiding some things, but there is an energy of uh, trying to restrain something. Here you are in the center of the reading. Strength shows me, Leo, that you're controlling an urge. This week you might feel that there's a strong urge to do something or, this, or say something to somebody. can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see you feel there's a strong urge to say something. This can be anger. This can be a strong attraction towards some, somebody. This can be, um, you know, just letting your feelings out. Is feeling, but there is your intuition, there's your consciousness which is telling you to stop and not do that. Because Queen of Swords is showing me that, okay, uh, somebody is a little agitated, very practical maybe. We're going to clarify a few cards, of course. Wheel of Fortune is there, bottom of the deck. Some, some destiny changes are happening in your life. Some destiny changes are happening in your life. Okay, Leo, wow, oh wow, okay. For some of you, I see that um, 
you can get a reaction. For some of you, it's like you're working beautifully over something. And though there is a little bit of manipulation and deception here, this lack of honesty about something, somebody can point something out which might hurt you. It's like you want to reply back to this person. Somebody's little rude. Somebody is little, um, they, they think that they are honest and they're fair and they're very clear, but they're going to say something. This person, this specific person is going to say something. You might feel bad for a moment. You might feel that, oh my God, uh, should I have acted this way? Should I have said that? Maybe you're resisting back and somebody's not liking that. This is very uh, straightforward en energy. And then Five of Cups shows me that there's something that you won't like about something. There's something you won't um, feel good about. But eventually, there's somebody who is helping you through. There's a love confession. Now, Knight of Cups usually is not love confession. But uh, for some of you, I feel that this is the energy where you're feeling sad about something in the near future. And this person sees that. This person is a little disappointed about something. But they want to offer you love. So they're going to be compassionate. They're going to be loving here. Oh, wow. Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> King and Queen of Swords. Uh, for some of you, I feel the one you're dealing with here is quite practical quite practical especially when it comes to money matters especially when it comes to give and take this person wants things to be equal and balanced and i'm also feeling that ace of cups there is an energy of starting fresh or having some new beginning in your life but somebody's making very practical decisions here and so as this person this can lead to some argument though but Viva fortune is showing me that Wow, can you see that? King and Queen of Swords. This conversation is important, Leo. Whatever happens here, you might be controlling your urge to say something to this person. And you're just scared that this is going to lead to some sort of outburst and you're going to regret it later. But Knight of Cups is showing me that after this happens, there will be a moment of pause. But then some conversation is going to happen which will turn around things. That will be in the positive way. It might appear in the beginning that no, it's rude, it's argumentative, or it's something that shouldn't have happened this way. But this is turning around. We're going to clarify a few cards here. First, let's see what do you want to say, the King of Pentacles here. What do you want to say, King of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. Yeah, the, the, this person is deceptive. I'm picking up secretive. They're having their own set of secrets. And you can sense that. You can sense that. Three of Swords and... Okay, this person is not telling you about... Not telling you something about past. They're heartbroken about past. They're trying to move on from their past. But they're keeping it a secret from you. And... Uh, communication. I see healthy communication though. But there are some mind games. Oh, wow. You know, I, I feel that you're very, very happy about... Uh, whatever you're hearing something has happened in past and this person is uh, for a lot of you I feel they're ghosting uh, somebody or they are walking out on somebody or simply there is an energy of um, keeping secrets of the past you you sense the toxicity you sense something uh, not really toxicity I'm just picking up that some mind games and some unhealthy conversation is there but wait for this conversation wait for this conversation whatever they're doing it's eventually adding up to their positivity for you. What I mean by that? They have experienced something, they're going through it and they're healing through it, but actually it's positive for you. So maybe their past experience is letting them do something which is leading to happiness and, you know, uh, abundance for you, your wish come true, right? So I do see that you need to be a little calculative here that's going to give you benefit. What urge are you controlling? Let's see. What is the urge you're controlling here? Eight of Swords. I, I see that in the near future, you might feel a little confused. And there will be an energy of feeling that I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, whether I should say this or not. There's an energy of blindfolding yourself, your own self. Self-limiting beliefs. And they are... It's like there's a lot happening inside your head, but you're trying to resist anything because you're afraid of the conflict. What can be the potential conflict here? Holy. Okay, uh, yeah, there is something. 
King of Wands, and Seven of Cups. For some of you, hoo -hoo. okay. For some of you, I feel there is third body. But for very few of you, that's the case. And for the rest of you, I see that somebody is toxically attracted to you, Leo. Obsessed. Obsessed is the word. King of Wands with the devil. I don't think it's a good energy. King of Wands in general is good. Action taker, motivated, taking the lead. But then when it comes with devil, and that's leading to Queen and King of Swords, that's the energy of conflict. Somebody's unhealthy obsession with you is leading to, to, to confusion and eventual conflict. So be careful with that, right? But then, uh, okay, in the near future, I see Five of Cups. What is this Five of Cups? Hanged Man. You might feel that, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Things have turned around or something has gone crazy. For a moment, you'll feel that, okay, everything is missed and spoiled and over. I can't correct it. It's, it's out of my hands, but it's just a pause. Universe is giving you some time to think. And Knight of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune, I'm picking up a beautiful new beginning. Wheel of Fortune is a new start energy. Oh, wow. <laughs> King of Cups. So for some of you, uh, these can be two different people, right? There is a past ex-lover who is very unhealthy and toxic. And this person is um, trying to get hold back of you. And then uh, Seven of Cups is showing me that this is not healthy. This is this. This is confusing and this is, it's like somebody is blindfolded in obsession and that's, that's physical attraction with you. And um, for a lot of you, I see you might feel stuck in a, in a way that I don't know what to do with this person. I need to control my urges to say anything to them. And eventually I see there will be a moment of pause because here comes a confession and King of Cups is love. This Knight of Cups love. Eventually, you're, I think you're moving on from something towards a beautiful partnership and commitment and stability in your life. So whatever is toxic, uh, that's going to slip out of your hands at first and you might regret for a moment. But you will eventually realize that whatever happened is happening for good. So yeah, this commitment, this partnership, Ten of Pentacles, um, Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune... Whatever this is, whatever is coming your way, it, it will be worth it. It will be worth it, right? What else? High Queen, Queen of Swords energy. Somebody's mother is in discernment. Somebody's mother is a little cold. <laughs> or this can be somebody and we're talking about brunette. Oh my god, I, I see third parties involved. I see people manipulating. Okay. Open relationship. That's that is um, for some of you. I see there was lack of commitment because of somebody's interference. So some open connection can come to an end, or it is going to elevate into some kind of commitment. It's like if, if you were in some kind of fling that's getting over, and the real commitment is coming your way. For some of you, I'm, I'm picking up that family bottom of the deck. Overall, quite positive energy. It's just that you need to be careful of somebody's obsession with you, right? You need to be careful of somebody's obsession with you, Leo. What else Leo needs to hear? What else Leo needs to hear? Three. Remember your foundation is strong, Leo. Your foundation is strong. There will be clouds. There will be confusion. Your vision is going to get blurred. But you need to be... Yeah, you need to have your eyes on the prize. Because I see a commitment coming. For a lot of you, Leo, I see a commitment coming. A new commit... Oh, stork. It's a new beginning. It's a promise of new beginning. Garden and gentleman. My, my God. This is such a beautiful energy. Leo, such a beautiful energy. And um, Locket is showing me that, yeah, a new beginning is taking place. It's just that there will be confusion in between. Don't get blurred by the confusion. Anything else? Anything else for Leo? Anything else for you? Yeah. Toil and labor. A lot of hard work and confusion. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm getting a message. Leo, for some of you, if you've been in some sort of work where you're doing your 
everything and putting your ass off putting everything into um your work that phase of your life is coming to an end if you've been some sort of um, person who has been doing physical work or doing everything to earn your day i see that phase is changing in your life i see a big ending and a shift coming in your life and unexpected income is showing me that there will be some sort of upliftment and growth definitely an upliftment and growth here wow dedication i see there's going to be a rise in income really a rise in income and that's going to for some of you i see some sort of relationship change is leading to an unexpected income growth for some of you you might be um, marrying or committing to somebody very rich and give me a boss or a manager but for rest of you i see the phase of hard work and toil and labor is coming to an end in your life and there will be an amazing growth in especially in your work life i'm picking up or you can just have another source of income i'm picking up wow so amazing energy for the week i'll leave you here thank you so much guys for watching bye bye